Hi there and welcome to one more video of the Uthermo channel. In this one we are going to discuss the characteristics of a Mollier diagram. First of all, what is a Mollier diagram? It is an enthalpy entropy chart. On it, it's simple to represent an isenthalpic process, such as the expansion of a fluid through a valve with perfect thermal insulation. It's also simple to represent an isentropic process, such as the adiabatic and reversible compression or expansion of a fluid. A Mollier diagram also has several auxiliary lines, and by the end of this presentation, you should be able to locate the saturated liquid and saturated vapor lines, the critical point, the subcooled or compressed liquid region, the superheated vapor region, and the supercritical region. And you should also be able to identify lines of constant enthalpy, entropy, temperature, pressure, and quality. This slide presents information about authorship and licensing of the Mollier diagram that we'll use in our presentation. This is a Mollier diagram with property values reported in English units. A good feature of this particular Mollier diagram for teaching and learning is that it contains relatively few lines of each type, making it easier to visualize the phenomena. Other Mollier diagrams may be more congested and have more lines, but the general ideas we'll discuss here will also apply to them. The first aspect to observe is that entropy is in the horizontal axis. Therefore, an isentropic process, a process whose entropy remains constant, will be represented by a vertical line. The enthalpy is in the vertical axis, and therefore, an isenthalpic process, one in which the enthalpy remains constant, will be represented by a horizontal line. In this slide, we highlight the saturated vapor line, and above it on the diagram is the superheated vapor region. In this slide, we highlight the saturated liquid line, and to its left, we find the compressed or subcooled liquid region. The saturated liquid line and the saturated vapor line come together at the critical point of the pure substance, which is represented by the black dot on the diagram. Here, we highlight the supercritical region. I state in the supercritical region we will have values of temperature and pressure higher than the critical temperature and critical pressure of the pure substance. The region located between the saturated liquid and saturated vapor lines has two fluid phases, one liquid phase and one vapor phase. Within this region, it's relevant to define and use quality. Quality is defined as the ratio of the mass of the system in the vapor phase to the total mass. This slide highlights a line with 50% quality, meaning that half of the mass of the system is in the vapor phase. This slide highlights the line of 90% quality. Observe that it's closer to the saturated vapor line than the line with 50% quality. This happens because a system that only contains saturated vapor has quality of 100%. Here we display an isentropic process that starts in state 1 and ends in state 2. If we want to find out the temperatures of the initial and final states, we can follow the solid black lines on the diagram, which are lines of constant temperature. We then find out that the temperature in the initial state was 1000 Rankine, and in the final state it is 2000 Rankine. To find the pressure values in these two states, we now follow the solid gray lines, which are lines of constant pressure. We then find out that the pressure in the initial state was 1000 psi and in the final state 20,000 psi. Note that this example is good for illustration, but in practice, we do not carry out a 20-fold compression from 1000 to 20,000 psi in a single piece of equipment. Here we show an isenthalpic process from state 1 to state 2. It's an expansion. The pressure in state 1 is higher than in state 2. This example shows how complex the behavior of a fluid can be, even when it's a pure substance, as is the case here. In the initial state, in state 1, water is a saturated vapor. As the pressure decreases, 
a liquid phase appears. And we know that this happens because the solid line that represents the process goes inside the two-phase region. With further decompression, water passes through an intermediate state in which it is saturated vapor again. And in the final state, in state 2, it's superheated vapor at low pressure. We hope that this presentation has helped clarify the features of a Mollier diagram. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Marcelo Castier, and let me take this opportunity to invite you to subscribe to the Uthermo channel on YouTube and to visit the channel's Facebook page. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.